how on earth do they do it? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 magicians on America's Got Talent. Great, so what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to, this is very important, read aloud the other page number. The page, page number. number. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking the show's greatest magicians based on their skills, charisma, and performance on the show. Sure enough, there it is. Number 10, John Dorenboss. John Dorenboss has quite the story. When he was just 12 years old, his father killed his mother, and Dorenboss was sent into foster care, where he took up magic as an escape. Even during his career in the NFL, magic remained close to his heart, a passion evident in his brilliant performances in America's Got Talent season 11. No. There you go, Neil. And now look, I didn't want to do this, but look, just to show you, that five has been drawn on there the entire what? time. Oh. There is your ace. His card trick during the judge cuts earned him a standing ovation and a golden buzzer. And in the finals, he explained how magic saved his life, while cards signed by the judges materialized out of thin air. And I don't know about you guys, but I wake up every single morning, and I choose to live in vision, to find happiness, knowing that life will work its way out, and we will find ourselves. His ripped-up card trick in the season finale led to him placing third in the competition overall. Number 9. Collins Key after falling in love with magic as a young boy, Collins Key studied at the Magic Castle and cut his performing teeth on countless private functions. He nailed his audition for America's Got Talent's eighth season by lighting a dollar bill on fire, then somehow retrieving it from a sealed popcorn bag. Now open it up, do you see something inside the bag? Yay! Yeah, show, show it to Howard, show it to Howard, do you see something inside? Pull it out and actually, yeah. Mind-bending tricks like this carried him throughout the season. In quarterfinals, he predicted the judges' tweets, and during top 12 finals, guessed which paper bag held host Nick Cannon's watch. You stopped your watch at 4.58. Correct. I set Nick's watch to 4.58. No. He eventually placed fifth, making him the first magician in the show's history to reach the top five. Are you kidding me? Number eight, Derek Hughes. Derek Hughes was an interesting magician, and certainly one of the show's most unique. His audition set the comedic and idiosyncratic tone of his act, as he made a card chosen from a deck reappear inside his butt crack. However, he went on to prove he was bringing more to the stage than just belly laughs. His quarterfinals performance saw him making cards materialize in his coat pocket, while in the semifinals he reassembled a book out of ripped up pieces of paper. But the king and his men had missed something new. Alas, his finals trick involving ropes received poor reviews, and he was eventually eliminated before reaching the top five. But hey. Thanks for the laughs. This was somewhat over underwhelming for, for your big final night here on AGT. Number 7, David and Lehman. David and Lehman were already acclaimed performers before appearing on America's Got Talent, and their performance on the show only reinforced their reputation. Their audition was goofy but fun, as they used a hands-on technique they dubbed pressure phrenology to take away Judge Howie Mandel's ability to read. What's well, not a canad, canad. <laughs> It's okay, but judges, you can read this, right? They advanced straight to the quarterfinals, where they performed an incredibly elaborate trick that involved predicting the longest word on a page torn from one of the judges' own books. Oh, yeah, we look at our name tags. Say out loud what our name tags say. Camera ready! The duo eventually reached the top 12 finals, but were eliminated after a complex trick involving lottery tickets failed to impress the viewers. And mine is... Uh-oh, boys. Looks like a bad night for the boys. It's 85. So 85! Close. Oh. Off by one! That's close! That's pretty good! Number 6. Oz Perlman. Mind-reading acts can be really hit or miss, but Oz Perlman pulled his off with panache. During auditions, Perlman seemingly read the minds of judges Heidi Klum and Mel B, correctly guessing a number under 100 and specific details regarding Mel's vacation. 
I am picturing a vacation to Fiji that happened in 1998 and someone else here named Jared. He subsequently impressed viewers enough with his mentalist tricks to reach the finale, where he not only correctly guessed what invisible card Heidi would pick, but also made said card randomly appear in his hand. What was that one indestructible card? The three of hearts. The three of hearts. No, you didn't! This trick impressed viewers, and he was sent to the top five instead of Derek Hughes. We wonder if he predicted that. Number 5. Piff the Magic Dragon Piff the Magic Dragon is one of the show's most exceptional magicians. And while his ridiculous dragon costume is certainly unique, his magic was impressive enough to make him more than just a novelty performer. His audition alone was mind-blowing, winning a flabbergasted expression from Heidi as he seemingly transformed one card into another right in front of our eyes. Gentle, sweet and kind, if you ever change your mind. He also got himself a golden buzzer by making a signed card appear in an unopened can of dog food. Inside the food. Uh-uh. <laughs> His charisma and unbelievable tricks have made him one of the show's breakout magicians, proving that magic can be just as fun as it is impressive. Number 4. Smoothini Simple sleight of hand is one thing, but Smoothini elevates the art to the closest thing there is to real magic. In his audition, he coughed up an entire deck of cards, plucked others out of thin air, and wowed judges with just two red balls and a salt shaker. Like, I'm gonna take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're gonna go abracadabra. Open up your hands. Oh. Shut up! He upped his game in the quarterfinals, which saw him changing the value of paper bills, making them disappear, and completely removing their federal seals. No! Shut up! No! While Smoothini failed to make the finals, his exquisite sleight of hand tricks were nothing short of jaw dropping. Number 3. Steven Brundage Rubik's Cubes are known for being difficult little buggers. Not so for Steven Brundage. Brundage's audition saw him placing an unsolved Rubik's Cube into a paper bag, snapping his fingers, and retrieving the now solved cube to a shocked panel and audience. Well, that's incredible. As if that wasn't amazing enough, his Judge Cuts performance had him solving cubes in a matter of milliseconds, simply by tossing them through the air. Less than a millisecond. While his act progressively grew more complex throughout the show's run, his simplest were arguably the most impressive, and they left viewers and judges shaking their heads in wonder. I want you to name your celebrity out loud so everyone could hear you. Brad Pitt. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brad Pitt. Number 2. Matt Franco We knew Matt Franco was going to be special from day one. In his amazing audition, he used a card trick to illustrate a story about his magic career and then transformed them into pictures of the judges. In my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. We have no idea how he did it, and it only gets better from there. He later teleported Mel B's phone into a seat cushion and won a standing ovation with an inventive ball and cup routine. But it's Mel B that makes this show hot at what the heck, you all look really great. Yup, even you, Howard. Yet he still outdid himself in the finale, miraculously transferring cards to guest Rosie O'Donnell to judge Howard Stern without touching either, and becoming the first magician to win first place on the show. How'd that happen? Come on! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. There must be May 2017. That is correct? Yes. Yes, it is. This number, 73,928,547. Does this mean anything to you? Desmond, give us a sign you're here. <laughs> number one, Shin Lim. What is it? Show us! <laughs> oh. There are only a handful of household names in the magic industry. Shin Lim will soon be one of them. His mysterious persona and use of music are captivating, but his illusions are simply breathtaking. 
Despite suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome, Lim has completely mastered sleight of hand and shocked the judges with card tricks that included conjuring them from nowhere, making them disappear again, and even pulling them from his mouth, all amid billows of smoke. His performances earned him the number one spot and left judges and commentators at a complete loss. I've said by leaps and bounds, the best close-up magic I've ever yes. seen. And it is so, as a germaphobe, I mean this in the best way, <laughs> it is so clean. Oh. There's only one reasonable explanation. He's a warlock and we're witnessing real magic for the first time. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.